Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin and welcome back to another Fortnite Battle Royale video. In this video, I'm going to be analyzing a just regular solo win that I got earlier today on my Facebook live stream. Link in the description to that. I'm going to be talking about each of the good decisions I made, the bad decisions, decisions I made, the good plays, the bad plays, and basically analyzing it and I'll give you guys some tips and tricks on how to get more consistent solo wins in Fortnite Season 8. If you guys could drop a like on this video, I would very, very much appreciate that. It takes half a second. Tap that screen. Tap that like button. If you guys are watching on the mobile would be very much appreciated also subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and click that bell right next to it and let's get right into it so first of all i landed at retail row which is a pretty moderate drop there's sometimes a decent amount of action and basically off the start you're looking for two things the double s is always my rule as soon as you land you should be looking for two things shotguns and shield and nowadays there's multiple ways to get shield because of course if you get a shotgun and you're just normal 100 if you kill a player that will be 50 shield in itself right um this player right here was actually just flying on top of me with the balloons and I was able to take him out and he had a gold shotgun too so I was kind of playing with dangerous territory there because he could absolutely have destroyed me with that but you know of course when you're getting wins there's some good luck and good fortune that comes into it as well and I was able to get a gold shotgun off there which is of course going to stick with me and help me for the rest of the game so basically we're going to go through each of the engagements that I get in the fights and talk about what I'm doing in each of them so as you can see here my inventory is pretty self-explanatory I have a good amount of weapons this guy is flying in. I have double shields as well. And basically, I'm hitting this guy and realizing, hey, this is quite a bit of damage. And my tip is that hitting people out of the sky, honestly, isn't as hard as it seems for even like a casual player or a beginner player. If you have decent aim, you can hit people out of the sky. This guy, of course, makes the run for it, which is a common thing I've noticed a lot in Season 8. Players take this game really seriously now and people really want to win. So there is a lot of running away. There is a lot of hiding or turtling if necessary. And this guy, of course, runs over here. But but he didn't end up making the smartest play because, of course, he just ends up basically hiding right under there. I'm able to use the gold shotgun. And having a gold shotgun is such a huge advantage and win that gunfight right there. So basically, at this point, I was just chilling out. I had a decent inventory. You can see I'm going with the double weapons, um, which is nice because with the scar, um, I talk about it like... I always like to carry the, the Gladarita play, not always, but I do like to carry it a lot of times. So I see this guy trying to take a shot at me. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to build up here and try to challenge this fight with this player. And I have, I don't have an SMG, right? But the gold AR, it is good at finishing, at finishing kills off because it's like AKs aren't as good as that, but an AR or a scar is actually good as a finishing weapon. So this guy, a good sign that you can see that you're fighting a decent player, at least, or a good player is someone that's doing a double reinforce when they're, they're doing, you know, floor, wall, ramp, stuff like that. You you can see okay this guy's somewhat decent he knows what he's doing and of course i was just tracking this player and staying above him the whole time trying to make sure i had height advantage and i knew this guy was a builder from before so of course he does go for the height advantage i get that first crack there with the shotgun and then once i get the first crack it's all time for offense and that's basically how it works offense defense i go on offense and that player tries to challenge me and i'm able to win that gunfight so you can see we're still chilling and we're at a decent spot here in the top 20 and we move over here to where it's top 10 and i try to get position up on a mountain right and this guy comes of course and challenges me so you can see here still with this inventory when this guy goes for the challenge i put the trap there just to prevent players from landing right on top of you it is a smart move if you are more defensive and don't want them to land right on top of you so this guy i immediately put the pressure on him um just because I, you know i think that i have the advantage i have the best spot i, I have the height advantage i i do hit him a few times i think um and then when it comes down to it, hit him for 35 here right there should have been the shot to finish him off i of course missed the shot but it isn't a big deal because i know it's offense defense is such a big deal this guy knows it's time for defense and i know it's time for offense so i'm doing it but i'm taking my time with it i'm not just going to spray and run into that one by one and get hit by a trap he opens up the door and boom just what i wanted you to do an easy headshot when you have a gold shotgun like that that you can rely on it's just absolutely amazing so there i use the slurp juice and then grab the smg so now i'm carrying a great inventory and here this is why like whenever the safe zone tips for late game securing wins i mean most players can make it to mid to late game it's winning the game that's the tough part right and re like going up on the mountains when you see where his zone's going being up on a mountain i mean i have natural high ground on this player look at this guy he is desperately using hundreds of maps to try to build up to a place that i just already was so this is the decision that was questionable in this game i have this player weak right i hit some shots wasn't that much but i dropped down off of my high ground to try to go for the finish and the kill here and this is kind of an interesting engagement this guy i, I, I fall into his one by one and i make the decision when he places the trap to try to get out of there instead of just trying to turn and shotgun him in the head 
um, which I don't know if it was the right decision. Of course, it seems like it was because I was able to escape. I knew I had heals. And now, it's, like I was talking about earlier, offense, defense is a key. Knowing when it's time for offense, defense. You can see right here, I know, I'm know i knowing it's time for defense. I'm going down here to heal up. And I put that trap there just to scare people off. Traps are very useful to scare people off. They will not come into your one by one. Now, this guy gets the basically the replace on me. I end up going out the other side and try to regain high ground this way. I get a huge crack in right there. So I realize even though I'm 117, I hit this guy for a decent amount of health and I can go on offense. I'm on the high ground here. I'm going to heal up only one. And I'm going to go back on offense. This guy was a decent player. You know, he, he, he was making the right moves. He was making the right builds. He was tur he was, he knew about offense and defense. He was turtling when it was necessary to, and when it wasn't necessary to, he wasn't. So right there, I use another mini just to get the extra eight health or whatever it is. Another player comes flying in and this is the craziness of late game. This is the stuff that will happen. And this is where I realized like, oh, this might not have been the best decision because I would never end ended up finishing off that kill, at least not to this point so far. And look at my mats. Before I went down the hill, I was... 1500 mats now i'm 500 so all in all that was probably the a, a greedy decision but it's you know you have to make those decisions throughout the game you have to decide how many kills do i want to go for and how much do i want to win the game by me dropping down there my chances of winning the game went down but my chance of getting a kill went up right so you have to sacrifice that and i realized at this point okay i can take a breather i used all my minis and that's why it's a tough spot to be in because if i get cracked again there's no healing for me but i see this guy and once again the same player from before is is shooting at the other player and I crack him with two headshots 63 63 so immediately this is offense mode for me I drop down the player jump pads and here is the wild goose chase that ensues I of course follow what you want to do when it's time for offense mode he ends up putting this I open it up and boom hit him with a shotgun he had like how many jump pads did this guy have you see he was definitely a decent player but I was able to win based off patience and I pick up his mats although they're not that many and um there I make a mistake I did not mean to drop down there um, of course that was a slight mistake, but it's all good mistakes happen and you know There's no that was not I could have just popped my redeploy there Of course popping a redeploy does make you uh, vulnerable and you glide down slower So it's best to pop it at the last moment, but no big deal. I have a campfire I actually have four campfires or three campfires so it's not that big of a deal i'm going to take my time and heal up but i think that guy saw me me drop or at least thought like he wanted to go aggressive on me so that's why i was being careful here i'm like okay this guy might be trying to play aggressive and try to do um you know be pulling up for a kill on me i'm not sure right there that one expires just because i was stepping off it so much but it wasn't a big deal i had so many of these different campfires so next i go over here i pick up of course it's either two minis or, or the one big pot i decide to go with the one big pot because why not this guy over here here I end up killing which dude it's so nice to have like a scar or and like it's so reliable and here I make the executive decision if I had a lot of mats I wouldn't go down here go into the storm give up my good positioning but I did that to get the mats which wasn't worth it I mean I got 150 or something I don't know how much mats I got off it not that much but of course going into that I wouldn't have known if it was worth it or not now you can see right there the next zone showed that it goes really far so this was my plan you can see right here I just skipped ahead like 20 seconds of the gameplay I'm rotating to the next zone but my mats are not the best and this is why players that camp out or sit in hamster balls have an advantage because they're going with probably full on 1500 mats and some extra heals i have extra heals one big pot though and i'm kind of farming in the middle of no man's land which is not where you want to be late game at this point i'm like you know what i have no choice but to use some of the slight mats that i have and just base up and chill and that's my point at this point i'm like okay i'm just gonna base up i'm just gonna chill and i know there's one player in front of me there's probably players behind me i mean if you look at the zone i look up there and yeah you can see so <laughs> there's obviously players all around and it's good to be aware of your surroundings and aware of the natural high ground that guy has natural high ground up on that mountain you know so he has a huge advantage there so basically what i'm going to do here is i'm just chilling out i realize i'm not in the best spot look i get hit again i'm getting hit from all angles i'm like i'm this is not where you want to be you you want to be in good position but you don't want to be in the middle of everyone when it's like a four like five or less players less or like pretty much ever right so at this point this is where i drop down and i sort of camp mid-level in my base which is smart most people either think you're at the top of your base or you're out of it not camping mid-level so that's what i decided to do here and this is where i open it up and i notice oh my goodness there's one player right there in the storm i'm able to get that guy uh, the kill with that off that player um and then i'm able to once again put my efforts into this player but you can see this guy he doesn't really know where i'm at he's spraying so this is definitely a tip you want more wins late game play in the middle of your builds like this is kind of smart now at this point i'm thinking already i remember this because this was just like a couple hours ago when i got this gameplay uh compared to when i'm doing the commentary i was thinking okay if i do kill this guy because i know he's in low health am i gonna run over there and go for his mats 
or just go straight into the next zone because look where the next zone is. So right there, I'm like, okay, I'm going to go for the mats. And then I realize, oh crap, it took me too long to kill him. The zone is moving right now. And this is where you can see the guy who camped up on the mountain has the advantage. I, I was the one that went for and got a lot of kills here. You can see I got eight kills so far, right? So I swiped out a lot of kills uh, just in that late game because I only had four kills like going into the super late game. So now I have eight kills with a chance at a nine kill win. This is the last player and I'm in another bad spot where I realized though that it seems like I'm in a terrible spot, but the zone is coming off of that height of the mountain. So he has to come down off the mountain at some point. He cho he chooses or chooses to do it in kind of a weird way, which is elevating like that. And I take that as an advantage, especially because I know I have the glider redeploy, which I talk a lot about how important that is. If if you want the freedom to just you know be able to build and not worry about high ground or not worry about fall fall damage really, as long as you remember to pop it. Not like what I did earlier. So I realized at this point, okay, four seconds left. I only have 200 mats. I probably need to drop and go for this kill soon. This is this is what you need to be thinking. If I had 1,500 mats right now, I can wait all day. Waste your mats, buddy. Do the double pyramids. I'll, I'll meet you on the top of the mountain. But I'm like, okay, I only have 190, 50, you know, I have 250 mats. So that's 25 pieces. I need to be smart with these placements. And I realize where the next zone is going to go. So you can see right there, instead of placing something, I just rotate mine around. I'm waiting on this player. I have high ground. This guy gave up high ground which was his mistake i take it a couple uh, layers above him he ends up poking out there i hit for some damage and then at this point i just need to stay above him because i realize where the zone is sort of going and you can see why i decide to place those flats and drop them off you can win a lot of games like this just by out racing your opponent to the top of the zone right here i'm like oh my goodness i messed up my builds so he's building up and opens the door for me right there just because I was ahead of him, always a step ahead of him, always had the zone advantage. Even though I ran out of mats, the last second where I ran out of mats was right when I killed him. So I did time that perfectly and play it nice. And hopefully you guys learned a couple strats about offense, defense, risk, reward, and how to get more solo wins by me analyzing this gameplay right here. This is what you want to do if you want to go for consistent wins. Um, you know, find a nice, comfortable place to land, get some loot, get your kills, but still win that game and play it smart near the end game. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Drop a like, subscribe, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And I'm out. Peace.